So what's good YouTube, it's your boy Legendary E, and we are back here for another video. And I've not done a face cam in a long time, but yo, we're in 2K21, I plan on making this happen. I, I probably won't do it every single video, but we're definitely gonna start to do it a lot more and more, just so that you guys can see my reactions. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a little tutorial as this game goes into demo mode. But guys, regardless, I'm gonna be doing a little tutorial on the 10 plus easiest superstars to trade for in NBA 2K20. And the way that I classify a superstar is pretty much somebody that is an 84 overall and higher. Now, obviously, 2K is not meant to be realistic at all. They have so many guys that are easy to trade for. And I think that as somebody who's done my league and rebuilds for years, it's about the assets. So pretty much, I'm gonna be going over some of the easiest superstar level players to actually trade for. Some of these players I already know, and I'm sure I'm gonna find a lot more gems during this video. So if you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and drop a like, go ahead and subscribe. My goal is 60K subs, let's make it happen, y'all. Make sure to turn on post notifications as well, and let's get straight into this video. So obviously, as far as the settings go, I mean, I'm pretty much gonna keep every single thing normal, of uh, Hall of Fame, and I'm also gonna turn off the trade restrictions and the injuries as well. But I mean, for, for the most part, none of this really matters. Um, <laughs> like none of this really affects the trades. But if you're doing a rebuild, that's how this thing pretty much goes. Uh, but as far as the trades go, I am going to go with the Thunder. Mainly because the Thunder have a bunch of assets on this team. And like I said, man, the biggest thing that you guys can do is get draft picks. Getting draft picks is the biggest thing. Now look, I got a lot more tutorials and rebuilds I want to do. And I'm thinking about getting a PC. So give me some PC builds in the comment section below. But I want to make a draft class. The thing is, 2K share is not even working. So even if the draft class I was working on was done, y'all wouldn't be, be able to get it, man. Yo, shouts out to 2K for that one. Regardless, I mean, looking at this scene, CP, Shea is somebody that you can easily get. Let me make that clear. No matter anybody, everyone knows that you can get Shea. As a matter of fact, just to show you guys how easy trading for Shea is, let's make a trade for him. All right, and for that, let's just go over to the Clippers, man. I mean, he was on that team last year. They have a few assets, all of which you can actually trade for pretty easily, and we can make this trade actually go down. Obviously, Marcus Morris, they have that asset, which you can actually flip back. Pat Bev, let's try this out. Reggie Jackson, Marcus Morris. Let's also throw in a few more first-round picks. So this team doesn't have any first-round picks, but I mean, once again, you can trade for a lot of the players on this roster you can trade for patrick beverly I, I think you guys have seen me trade for pat bev a million times the hawks give us a first round pick for him let's also go ahead and let's do this jamichael green another easy player that you can trade for it's really just about getting players and just moving them for assets it doesn't really matter if that player is amazing zubak as well you can also trade for zubak as well and let's be honest it's it's not all that difficult to make a trade for Zubak. I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys how to use marginal players and turn those players into decent assets for your team. So with that, we got we, we got Evan Turner. I don't really want Evan Turner on this team. Uh, I, for this, it's just to lower the amount of cap that we actually have. So if we can just like move him, I would do it for like anything. I move him and a second round pick because second round picks have no value at all. Gary Harris. I'm not sure if Gary Harris has like a good price. It's definitely a lot better than what we currently have. It's really just about flipping assets, as I said before. All right, so as far as this goes, um, I mean, here's Clint Capella. Look, I'm sure we, we can get a first rounder for Clint Capella. Golden State wants to give us a first and Draymond. I'm telling you, Golden State in 2K always wants to give away Draymond Green. Devonta Graham, another easy player to actually trade for. I'm not gonna trade for him. I'm just gonna get that first round pick. And I'm gonna move on. Let's go ahead and let's get back to the to the drawing board. You guys just saw all the trades that I just made right there. And let's go back to the OKC Thunder. And like I said, I'm gonna trade him back to the Thunder right after this because I do want to use them uh, for this actual you know video. But Marcus Morris, Reggie Jackson. On this, we we bring in Roberson. We're gonna throw them all the draft picks that we just traded for, including some of the ones that were already on this roster. Bam! You got yourself Shea. That simple. So once again, I am gonna trade him right back. It was also a Timberwolves pick, that's all I remember. There we go. So we put Shea back on the OKC Thunder. The next trade I'm gonna show you is for another superstar. I mean, 
He's on the Miami Heat, and yeah, getting Jimmy Butler is pretty easy. You guys have seen me get Jimmy. Bam was somebody that in 2K20 was so easy to trade for. Like, he was so easy to actually trade for. Let's try and get him right now. Let's see if we have the cap room to even get him on this team because the Thunder are a team with not that much cap room. I mean, we can also sign a free agency, right? There's too many players on this team. Let's just trade somebody off of this team real quick then. A draft pick or something. Two second round picks. I'm going to take that. Uh, but we can also just go into free agency. Boogie's right there. I'm pretty sure Boogie has some value. And let's see if we can flip this man to Miami for Bam Adebayo. Now, obviously, this is a finesse move. Like, but <laughs> see, he, he has three stars to like Bam's four stars. Any, any logical team would make this deal. And of course, we got to include in our assets in the draft picks. They will be interested. Not interested? Yeah, that's what I thought. Bam Adebayo, another player to easily get on this team d'angelo russell if you really cannot trade for like dennis just sign him in free agency his contract's up like next season yeah he, he has one more year left on his contract just pick him up that way steven adams is another guy that that's not the craziest to actually get come on you guys know d'angelo russell another player on this team let's also go after d'lo's friend if you play a lot of 2k you probably have gotten devin booker a billion times <laughs> danello and james johnson on the book side, give us book and give us Ellie, the homie. And we're gonna slide them some more first round picks as well. And like I said, as far as the value goes, at this stage in the game, all the draft picks relatively have the same amount of value. I've not seen a super high draft pick. The highest I've seen is like three and a half stars. But looking at our team right now, we just got D'Lo. I showed you guys how to make the shade trade. Booker, bam, and it's pretty easy that guards are the easiest thing to get in 2k21 especially the point guards if you want somebody now dame is somebody that you won't be able to get because i mean let's just look at some of the top rated players in this entire game right players like Giannis, he's not easy to, to pick up neither is lebron neither is Kawhi. all these guys that are untouchable you're not getting them like i'm gonna be honest like it's gonna be extremely hard unless you trade another superstar and the next player i'm gonna be trading for is another point guard like i said man point guards are so easy to get in this game Jamal Murray, he was insane in the NBA bubble. So we're going to pick him up on this team as well. Now, he's another guy who signed one of those extensions. So, like, we got to get some money first. So let me just get Chris Paul off of this team, and I can show you how to do this with even a lower tier player. Like, I could even make this trade in with Gallo, and I can show you how to even get Jamal Murray. They're still saying we don't, we don't want to make this trade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually, everyone wants to make a trade. We picked up Jamal Murray as well. So next up on this list, let's also go after, let's go after De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox is another guy. Once again, man, I'm going to keep saying this. The point guards in this game, if you guys want to start a point guard, there's no reason to not have one in 2K21. There's no reason to not have one in 2K21. And the thing is, I'm going to switch teams. This team is loaded with cap room. I'm going to switch teams. And uh, let's go to... Which team has money? Let's go to the Knicks. <laughs> Yo, let's go to the Knicks. I know that I said De'Aaron Fox. Before we go after De'Aaron Fox, let's pick up Trey Young. They got RJ Barrett. Now, the Knicks have really high, they got really heavy draft picks. Like, these are some valuable, valuable draft picks. Let me go pick up De'Aaron Fox. All right, let's do this. Um, Todd Gibson, I'm going to move you. Um, <laughs> and I hope I can find something. I don't want Roberson like that. Um... Yeah, I don't. I really do not want Roberson on this team. I can't even lie to you. But that's the only one that's giving us a first round pick. No one wants this man. I'll I'll throw in a second round pick. Get him off of my team, like or just give me a smaller contract that is like worth it. Oh, uh, Aminu is a little bit smaller. Aminu, sh I should be able to downgrade Aminu and get somebody else. Trillows is five million. Definitely a better player. Pat Bev. Pat Bev, it definitely is. Because I, I know that I can trade Pat Bev and get a draft pick. I know I can. I got to be able to. Buddy Heald. I'm going to do the Buddy Heald trade, but it is kind of it, it is kind of thought out. Just a little bit. Somebody will give me a, a draft pick for Buddy Heald, right? I already saw one from Atlanta. And that, that's low-key a dub. We can get Marcus Gasol. But how do I flip Marcus Gasol? DeMar DeRozan. 
if you had Buddy Heald, a first round pick, and want to get Demar and shoot a bunch of mid range shots, this is the trade for you. All right, next up, can I actually just trade this man, Jeff Teague? Once again, all this is is for first round picks. I'm just trying to get more first round picks on this team. That's it. I don't actually want to keep any of these players on my roster. If, I, if I'm being honest, I don't want any of them. But like, since it's not free agency, so many of these teams have no room to even operate. But let me just make that De'Aaron Fox trade real, real, real quick. And let's just get that man over here. All right, how much is, is Fox's contract? Eight million. All right, Alfred Payton. Matter of fact, Alfred Payton should not even be included. But I just want to try it with him. De'Aaron Fox, welcome to New York. You and Trey Young are going to be going crazy together. But pretty much, guys, that is the video. Those are some of the easiest players to actually start your team off with in NBA 2K21. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on it. Go ahead and subscribe. This video is already going to be really, really long. Some players that I left off are Jimmy Butler. Bradley Beal is a player that you guys have seen me trade for in one of my rebuilds. So make sure to watch all of my rebuilds. You guys see a lot of trades that I make just during the spur of the moment. Draft picks assets. That's what you need. If you have draft picks and really, really young players, you can get any player that you pretty much want in this game if they're not untouchable. Because once again, untouchable players, you're more than likely just not going to be able to get. But also point guards as well. I've noticed it. Point guards are really easy. Like trading RJ Barrett and like two first round picks or three first round picks for Trey Young is the biggest finesse move I've actually ever seen. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like on it. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.